Happy Groundhog Day, everybody. February 2nd, it's Groundhog Day Day and Super Bowl. So there you go, where the uh, Broncos and the Seahawks come out to see their shadow. And if they see it, there'll be uh, eight more weeks of football. So here we are. Oh, my word, it's beautiful here in Charleston. Four days ago, ice and snow. Today, 72 degrees around our shorts. What the hey? Well, Mother Nature is still flipping a coin. We got to get on with business because it's time for what's in the box. And I got a box in the mail. Now, I... It's, it's a wee bitty a box. Must be a leprechaun inside. But, uh, yeah, it's not very big today. But, hey, it's in a box. It just meets that criteria, and we're good to go. Haven't opened it yet, but we kind of know what's in it, so we're going to get into it. I love it. Green peanuts. That's always a sign of, of a good package out here. So let's just dump out the peanuts all over the place. Make a mess. We'll pick it up later. But look what we got here now. This is what was in the box. And here's his weapon. Okay. If you're a DC comic fan, you know who this is. This is Swamp Thing. This is from back from the 90s. Um, he had a cartoon back in the early 90s, up to like 94, 95, that time range. They went on, everyone went on an eco kick. We have to save the environment. Did evidently didn't work that well. So Swamp Thing was one of those cartoons geared for the environment, like Captain Planet. And they did G.I. Joe, Eco Warriors, and all that stuff. But um Swamp Thing was a big character. You know, you know, he's still one of my favorites. I love Swamp Thing. This version of Swamp Thing was called Camouflage Swamp Thing. Now, what's special about this one is that the original packaging with the original figure, he only had paint up here on his face and his shoulders. He did not have paint on his arms. But this was the figure pictured on the back of the packaging. So this figure existed but it became a variant, very hard to find. I just happened to pick this one up loose. Um, of course, if you hit it with cold water, the green turns into brown, and there he blends in and looks like a, a tree. Um, he also came with this uh, snare gun, which they evidently, they drew this thing up really tight. I don't know if I can even get this thing to open up. It's, uh, it's a loop on here. <laughs> People with big fudgy fingers should not be trying to play with small toys. Well, this part looped out, and then you put it around someone, you pulled it tight, and then you could grab people, and it's shaped like a branch. So, oh, his joints are pretty tight. I like that. But he would hold it like this. Pretty nice. I like that. I just, normally I wouldn't have bought a Swamp Thing figure, you know, unless I really wanted one. But... I've always wanted the one with the paint on his arms because that's the one on the back of the package and I felt like you didn't have a complete collection without him. So I picked him up, not very, like nine bucks. I thought it was a really decent price. But that was that was what was in them, along with foam penis everywhere. So I hope everyone's doing really good on this Sunday. Hope your team wins. If your team's not in the Super Bowl, watch it for the commercials anyway. Um, and then hopefully the groundhog picked... The weather condition i still don't know how they do that i've seen them they hold the big animal up here here's an example the pillow is the groundhog they hold them up they shake it and somehow then he tells them what's going to happen with the weather you know the weather is based on what a giant rodent says and if you watch jack frost at christmas time you realize the groundhog is in league with jack frost therefore conspiracy is right there you know they're working together you're not going to get an accurate weather forecast from the groundhog when he's in league with Jack Frost. I mean, come on, people. So anyway, this just, like I said, we have a very small box, and we had figure. We didn't have a whole lot, but I wanted, it was in a box. I wanted to get an episode off, you know, beginning of February. Um, and I think I should have another package coming in here shortly, and I'm getting myself a tablet, so hopefully the screen will be bigger. Um, but until then... You know, have, have a Super Bowl, eat a bunch of junk food, go into work next day and complain that your team didn't win um, or your team didn't make it at all or someone's team won. I'm just watching for the commercials because, you know, isn't it funny that both teams are from states that legalize marijuana and they're having a Super Bowl? Yeah, man, we're having a Super Bowl party. Hi. So anyway, um, everyone take care. Subscribe, leave comments, you know, join into the madness. We're having fun here every single day, even though it doesn't look like it. 
So y'all take care. I see you on the next fly around. Next package should be here within a few days and we might even have an update. You never know. Until then, keep your dreams in the sky, your feet on the ground, and always just wonder what's in the box.